So there's a lot of internet buzz around April 8, and uh, some of you may be apprehensive about what's going to happen and scared. And some of you cannot wait till the sun lets it rip or other you know, game-changing events happen because they're sure they're going to be on the winning timeline. And this is not only for this date of April 8th. I mean, there are going to be a lot of other important dates <laughs> of cosmic alignment and other events. So this is not a one-shot video. This is even uh, very important if you're under the psychic attack. You know, of course, some of the things may be a little bit different, but this is a really good uh, meditation to get you very stable, very connected, and clear a lot of baggage, you know, <laughs> before, um, you know, you got to face the music, so to say. So, I suggest that you do this following guided meditation as soon as possible, you know, to get an initial clearing, you know, and uh, in preparation, you know, for what might happen. And then, you know, when whatever date or cosmic event happens, you are well prepared and know what to do, and to just don't turn into like a bivering drop of jello, you know, on the ground. You know, being completely overwhelmed. I mean, I don't think this will happen anyhow. Uh, but, uh, so yeah, if you're still interested, you know, the guided meditation will start very soon. So I'm Wolfgang from Tools for Ascension, and I create um, material that will help you in your ascension uh, process. It's for free, and take advantage of it. I'm trying to cover a wide variety of subjects, um, I mean, and I have experience in those subjects. So feel free to subscribe and give me thumbs up and take advantage. Of course, I also do personal sessions, which are very tailored and way more to the point. Uh, but first, uh, let's talk about some important elements of this guided meditation. You know, your mind has a right to know. So, we are of course not naive, you know, thinking that service to self groups are just standing by, you know, twiddling their thumbs, you know, at an important cosmic event. You know, of course they're going to steal <laughs> you know, all kinds of drama. You know, and the thing is, drama will keep you in fear you know, and in your survival mind. Very important. You know, the little reptilian brain, you know. And when you're in your survival mind, in your reptilian brain, uh, you are thinking that you are your body and you're completely cut off from your angelic or cosmic side. And somehow they got you at your twinkle beats and being in a bodily consciousness. I'm not this body. No? This body, that's just a vehicle. No? Um, part of the mind, spirit, bodily complex, as Ra from the law of one calls it, or calls the uniform. My soul is incarnated in all kinds of bodies. You know, in different dimensions and on different planets and reality. My soul chose this body for a particular reason. I also chose my vehicle, my car, for particular reasons. <laughs> you know, um, that doesn't mean that I'm German or a Subaru. You know, they just make decent vehicles and... Um, you know what I mean. So I am an eternal awareness, experiencing different realities through different physical and vibrational bodies. You know, <laughs> doesn't matter what life form you are. Um, <clears throat> so um, let's just do an um, invocation that whatever comes from this guided meditation is going to be for the highest good, in divine harmony, with the most benevolent outcomes. Make very sure that you agree to this. This is a very important thing for protection. 
And um, the first step is always to connect with the Earth. If you're in harmony with the Earth, you most likely <laughs> will survive. Then your instincts are, are fully there and um, your vibrational match perfectly. And I will talk more about this. So, for instance, in times of energetic crisis, this could be a street fight, you know, this could be a psychic attack, you know, even a solar flare or flash. You want to be super grounded with your foot chakras and your root chakra blazing red. The smile and... <laughs> You know, imagine that you pull the energy from the earth through your foot chakras and your root chakra into yourself. And imagine that you have to you know, swim um, through a swimming pool, or let's say 20 yards, to survive. So this is just pumping up, not just half ass, really pumping up. And we ask your spirit guides, we give them permission to clear any resistances and blocks in your foot chakras. It can be for various reasons. It could be vows, thinking the earth life is bad, or you know, guilt, or attacks, psychic attacks, or parasites, or old trauma from this or past lifetimes when legs were broken, or shackles, magic implants, a lot of things. We ask that as much can be cleared now, or will be cleared now, as possible, without us having to look at the issues. Please, dear High Self and Spirit Guides, do so now. Amen. And smile and keep on breathing, as if you're pushing uh, air into your root chakra, as if it's like jets. You know, at NASA, when a rocket takes off, like... <sighs> mm -hmm. And as we're now tuning into the energies um, of the earth, just keep listening to what I say, but keep her breathing as much as you can. So your body is nourished through your foot chakras. And um, they are the right leg um, is the pathway um, for earth energy to go into the right side of the body. You know, into the arm, the whole right side of the body is nourished from your right leg. So when that foot chakra is blocked, um, you're kind of undernourished in your cells and everywhere else. And the same thing is for the left side of the body, your female side. Mm -hmm. You want to focus now on the left side and open your left foot chakra. Mm -hmm. So your cells um, are all electrical, all the chemical processes are, you, know, you know, based on electric currents and electric charges. And every uh, cell, even every muscle is like a battery, like a tiny little battery. And um, so this is um, chi um, that we are moving around. Um, it is the more subtle um, aspect of these electric currents, and so they can be influenced. So you enhance your metabolism in those signs. So um, the more qi you have in your body, um, the tougher and more connected, you know, and the more resilient is your body. You can take a lot more damage to your body, you know, if it's qi up. Um, this, like iron, um, with this iron shirt, kung fu, and I've experimented with this stuff. I give some massage to some people. You don't want to store dark chi in your bones. <laughs> it's nasty. <laughs> there are better ways. Um, so, but uh, let's just go back here on being in harmony with Mother Earth. You know, it's like having a lightning rod. That's the important aspect here. Not just charging yourself up. But uh, if there is excessive chi running into you for some reason, um, then your grounding channels, your chi connection um, with the earth, you know, are open and you can look into chi gong or Chinese medicine um, into, into more detail. Um, then when these are open, 
um, you can just discharge or your body automatically discharges this extra chi into the earth so there is no damage to the nervous system and other systems and you don't get too hyper if this is not happened you can get headaches and all kinds of creepy dark energies are lingering in you because the sewer system is not working properly it's clogged up so um, one of the aspects of grounding is an immediately immediate relief of tension and then of course well-being when the earth chi also goes into your body um, now it's important to have this grounding rod um, especially in times of crisis whether it's a solar flare where suddenly there's a lot of chi coming into you or if you end up psychic attack where people or a group of people or maybe an individual you know, send you a lot of dark thought form a lot of chi um, to um, for your body you know to do harm there um, when you're properly grounded it just you know flows right through you into the earth you know and they can pump dark chi into you till they green in the face <laughs> Of course, this is not, you know, the only defense and against psychic attack. Um, there is a lot more involved, but if you're not grounding, um, you're pretty much in trouble. And of course, if you're going through any, um, you know, disturbing emotional events, you know, you got to be grounded. Very, very important. Um, so, uh, let's just do this. Mm -hmm. Smile. And, um, and pull her love through those three access points into your whole body all the way into your heart and then send your love with your breath down it feels about like this so smile i would put the tongue at my palate getting on <laughs> um, really juicing up and <clears throat> now we ask um, mother earth and our spirit guides and the angels of love and light that are working with us to clear any spells or curses or implants any trauma that blocks our connection with the earth goddess please clear this from us now um, you know, if you agree on not your head, smile and keep on breathing, keep on breathing all the time. I can't do the heavy breathing when I'm talking. And I guarantee you that you, in past lifetimes or at least your ancestors, somehow offended and cursed Mother Earth. Whether it was, um, I mean, you know, how can you offend a mother? She will forgive you. But still, there is a separation. You know, many of us, you know, poison wells or cursed plots of land you know, because they were of the enemy. Put spells under the water to sink fleets. And all kinds of dark magic you know, was done, or just damage like cutting down forests or burning down forests. And, you know, with all the beings there, um, lots of stuff was done, you know, to disturb Mother Earth. And um, it's best to ask for forgiveness. You know, really, um, best to ask for forgiveness. Also, in many religions, you know, Earth life was considered the pits of reality. You know, this 3D existence was a punishment from God. In, you know, very harsh place, and you didn't want to become attached here. Mm -hmm. You wanted to be in heaven, nirvana, <laughs> mm -hmm. and uh, nowhere else. You know, this was um, just a, a testing ground here. So, um, you know, the uh, love to the Earth Mother in those transcendental religions was often cut off. Mm -hmm. So we apologize now on behalf of our ancestors and our own behavior. To Mother Earth, we ask her to please, please clear mm -hmm. these blocks and vows and curses and other offense, whatever separates us 
you know, karmically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually, intellectually. You know, um, from Mother Earth, we like to have this cleared now. Amen. Um, um. Smile like... Oh. <laughs> Ah, this tingles. Yeah, if you feel tingling, that's always an auspicious sign. An energy flowing off you, through you. Mm -hmm. oh, it feels so wonderful. And it generally kicks in after about five seconds. Mm -hmm. So enjoy this smile and mm -hmm. exchange loving um, chi through your breath with your earth mother. And appreciate the purification. And also thank you spiritual beings that assist in clearing this. Thank you all in high self. Uh, we are very grateful for this fast purification. Seconds. Seconds. Of, instead of having you sit one hour in the sauna. Hmm? Oh, okay. Oh. And we also ask that any resistances to clearing these offenses and blocks you know, to Gaia and her attributes you know, be cleared too. Uh, mm, agree to that. And the idea is here we are shedding as much baggage you know, as we can to be prepared you know, for any big event that will raise your consciousness and that would purge this baggage. Better do it now than later. And also we request the frequency shield of love and light that protects our lower vibrational aspects and entourage like our household appliances, cars, computers, etc. Yep. That stuff that starts breaking down all the time from being infiltrated by malevolent <laughs> discordant energies as well as artificial intelligence systems. Uh, uh, um, you, know, you might have found that a lot of your stuff suddenly starts breaking down. There is some technology where you just uh, don't creep into the frequencies and make you know, this uh, degrade faster to create distraction. Unfortunately, so we asked hmm? for clearing of those. It should be kicking in now. Again, you might feeling like this elevator feeling. You seem to be floating up, becoming lighter, kind of a little woozy. Hmm? Keep on smiling and running love with Mother Earth. You know, running love with Mother Earth puts you into a very, very safe spot emotionally safe hmm? there is love or fear <laughs> yeah? so you want to be on the love vibration smile hmm? so you're in your higher mind where you're not identifying with your body you know, where you are in contact with your own spirit you know with the knowledge that you are the awareness riding on the body and it makes you more perfect more intuitive hmm? ah Okay. We also request the divine beings that are supporting us of sufficient capacity mm -hmm. to apprehend any beings that are attempting to lower our vibration with dark intent. Mm -hmm. So keep us protected from demoniac and satanic entities and attacks. Yeah, that could also be you know, any races um, sometimes, you know, called Dark Anunnaki or the Draconians, the Alpha Draconians, mm -hmm. or, you know, there are some Dark Ray factions. Sometimes they still start stuff. And if there are any star nations that are approved by our High Self, I mean, basically we are incarnated there and have wonderful relations. We allow them now also to facilitate an optimum transition, you know, into higher consciousness, whether it's at the time of April 8 or any other time. <laughs> you know, if any solar flash or tsunami or whatever, you know, this is going to happen, you know, we like to have the best help and we give them permission.
And we also authorize you know, the divine beings, whether they are ET tribes of ours, or angelic beings like Archangel Michael or Lord and Singer Tave, you know, those that have sufficient capacity to apprehend and bring to divine justice any beings that are attempting to lower our vibration with our intent or to kidnap us or our subtle body in any times of crisis. Amen. Make sure you agree there. And if there are any star nations that are approved by our high self, we allow them to facilitate an optimum transition, whether it's April 8 or not. Whether it's a solar flare or anything special, or maybe even if a tsunami is coming, <laughs> you know, and you know you're gonna go down, um, you know, still ask, um, you will be amazed uh, what can be done. <laughs> now, it's really important in, in those times when there is this higher consciousness coming in, it's basically gonna be like an LSD trip. You know, or you know, a clean mescaline trip, you know, without the puking, hopefully. Um, where, you know, you have higher perception. You know, where you see um, the energies in nature, you see auras, you can see the trees are breathing, you know, or you see the pattern in nature that your brain couldn't see before because you didn't have enough capacity to process that. Uh, so, um, when you are in expanded consciousness like that, and very, very highly sensitive, you want to be in your higher mind and smiling, so you get a positive interpretation of reality of love and light, and you're tuned into the love vibration. If you start frowning, you're going to turn into your animal mind, into your survival mind, with fear, anxiety, and so on. You don't want to be there in a time like that. You know, when you frown in those times, um, you're not going to get any downloads <laughs> because you are only resonate with low vibrational thought forms. To receive higher vibrational thought forms, you got to smile and you got to have your crown chakra open. So this is why we do the next exercise and it's very important for any yogi or mystic to be able to open your crown chakra. It's just like you have to be able to open your heart chakra. Otherwise, you just blow the whole point. If you are a nun or monk and you can't open your heart chakra, you really missing the point. <laughs> you can be a scholar with the third eye of a, you know, of a train. <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, um, you need that love. And you, know, you have to be able you know, to open this so you can communicate with source, you know, which is love. Anyhow, so to open the crown chakra, this is the protocol. Put your tongue to the palate. In that way, more chi can run in, in, into your brain, right into the center. Now let's, um, first of all, inhale. You know, imagine inhaling the love of the sun, like the light into your heart. And on the exhale, you imagine sending your love with your breath, but through the heart to the sun. And you don't have to you know, imagine sending it billions of kilometers or miles. Now on the astral plane, distance doesn't matter much. So you just breathe back as if it's across the room. Smile and do really deep breathing. The sweeter your smile, the sweeter the love that you will experience and give. And um, the stronger you breathe, the more is going to be the quantity that you will be sending and receiving. So it goes about like that. kicking in now. And we ask the sun for purification of all the dark stuff <laughs> that has accumulated there. From other people. 
where we took in stuff out of compassion. Let's clear all that. Our own sadness, loneliness, disappointment, you know, all the stuff that clogs our love. Please find our own remove on clear, continue to finish. Amen. We also give permission to our high self and spirit guides. Amen. And if there are any resistances, like barbs, hooks, wires, booby traps, promises, vows, towards clearing this stuff, you know, we like to have those clear too. Of course, everything under supervision of high self for the highest good, in divine harmony, with the most benign outcomes. And, you know, this is kicking in now. Mm. The sensitive of you probably gonna get little rush tingles all over the body. Or you see the light. And we ask the sun for forgiveness for all the offenses we did and our ancestors did. I mean, who didn't curse the sun when, you know, we were sweating like crazy or in past lifetime, many of us croaked in the desert or our crops dried up. Um, of course, it was the clouds, but no, really, these things are serious. And we apologize to the sun now. Amen. And as a sign of the apology, sin, sweet love. Amen. Ah, yeah, and it's kicking in now. Mm -hmm. And of course, in any um, you know solar system event, even in a solar flash, but any other constellations, you know we're dealing with planets. You know to see uh, it's just as the sun by itself is not understanding the situation. You know the solar system is an entity in itself, and the, the Earth is a subpersonality of this entity. And so we want to be not only in harmony with the sun and the earth, but with the planets to clear any outstanding karma as much as possible. And be done with it, with this our baggage you know, from old offensive curses. You know, for instance, I'm quite sure that we, when we are on the dark path in past lifetimes, as mystics, witches, warlocks, dark magicians, you know, even in other races, that we abuse planetary powers for mischief, and surely our ancestors did. And so um, there was some damage done. And also, you know, this is offensive to those beings. You know, these are all highly intelligent, aware beings. Thinking of them as dumb rocks <laughs> is really missing the point completely. <laughs> really missing the point. Mm -hmm. So this is a very highly intelligent beings. Uh, these uh, planets, they run circles around you. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, but we want to apologize to them, you know, for all the offenses, misdeeds, and the bad karma that we have created through their energies and the misuse. Amen, amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And imagine pulling in their love, you know, from all directions into your heart. And on the exhale, send your love in all directions, you know, to them as if it's like a donut of love and light, you know, that keeps expanding and uh, contracting. Go back and forth, smile like an idiot. And, you know, please forgive us, please forgive us, please forgive us, please forgive us. We are so sorry, we are so sorry, we are so sorry for abusing your energies and great pain and violating free will from others. Please forgive us, please forgive us. And clear as much of this karma and burden you know, as possible so we can even make it into higher consciousness. Um, um, um. Mm -hmm. And we give permission, of course, to the spirit guides and high self to cleanse up. 
in the we also ask source in the highest beings that love our soul and guide us to please update our spirit guides in our high self in a way you know that uplifts them clear any attacks and compromise that has been done on their levels to them by anything uh, disharmonious on the dark side so to say um, and um, some of the spirit guides you know they may have done their job and uh, may have to be replaced with some more advanced spirit guides you know, time for holidays for those or retirement and if this is the case please uh, facilitate this now um, of course, everything for the highest good and divine harmony with the most benevolent outcomes. Uh, so you should be feeling a shift now mm -hmm. into higher vibration. Yeah, here we go. Lots of tingling. Mm -hmm. All right. And now as we have gotten all those updates, and we also like to have them and ourselves updated to the best and highest divine blueprints and codes you know, all the way to the human DNA uh, um, so we give permission you know we're not commanding demanding you know we give permission and if it's appropriate they gladly do it you know there is no reason to force beings you know good beings into doing something it is so stupid to do this <laughs> <laughs> you know, messing with those big consciousness. You know, as if you like little Shishuaba, you know, control and know what's going on. Really. It's better to ask nicely and then they can do a much better job. At least that's my opinion. Mm -hmm. and then please, you know, tweak and stabilize and prepare our, you know, subtle systems like our celestial chakras and, and our nadis of physical chakras and all the other nervous systems, endocrine systems, you know, the skeletal system, the muscles. Please optimize them all, you know, so they're optimal, you know, tweaked for <laughs> perfect downloads, you know, um, in these special times um, of celestial events, um, lots of um, information is coming in, you know, different light, light is information, and um, these are downloads. And so we like to have these optimized now. Um, and of course we like to have intelligence filters applied. So you know that no dark material or viruses get downloads. You know only the things that are for our highest good. Mm -hmm. And also remove any parasites. You know and other diversion programs in frequency screens and other dark hacks <laughs> you know, from the service to self beings you know, or other old technologies that are still harmful um, uh, um. and make sure you agree you know we are voting and the more of humanity gives permission of course the more they are allowed to do so And also, as part of the purification, we asked our high self, and of course assisting spirit guides, to please clear any negative problems and curses that we voluntarily accept, or that you know, came to us by osmosis, or were just sent to us as hostile stuff. Mm -hmm. um, of course, best is source mercy, absolute source, you know, God's mercy. Mm -hmm. um, 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 <laughs> be grateful. <laughs> Breathe mm -hmm. from your heart, smile. Let that settle in. Keep on breathing, run love. And start pulling the love. You know, from imagining from Milky Way Galaxy being at the ceiling into your heart. And then from the heart you send it to the center of you. And on the next inhale, you pull this love from Mother Gaia from the center of the earth into your heart. 
Then on the axle, send it over your tongue to Milky Way Galaxy at the ceiling. And smile like an idiot. You know what you're gonna be impressing them? This a tough face. You know, to them you're like Dodo Brains. <laughs> So, you know, what better can you do than smiling and just enjoying the love? So, let's pull it back and forth, so from heavens in. And from the heart to the earth. And then from the earth into the heart. And then from the heart into the hands. And go back and forth. And of course we asked the high self or our body and it has its own consciousness and the spirit guides to optimize those pathways, cleanse them as much as possible. And <laughs> then we also um, you know request that we make it to the most benevolent and loving timeline. You know the winning where the good side is winning. Mm, that we make it into that timeline. Amen. Or make it even better than that. Surprise us. Mm -hmm. And make it funny too. You know? And uh, because funny makes everything better besides love. Mm. So uh, love light and funny please and just keep on running love oh it's <laughs> yeah mm -hmm. and just running love any way it comes you know if it comes from the planets run love if it comes from the sun run there if it comes from milky way or the earth use your heart as the midway station mm -hmm. You know, receive the love into your heart and then give it up. You know, get it from the heaven into the heart, give it to the earth god. Take it from the earth goddess, get it into the heavens. You know, we are like transistors. You know, we can affect the currents with our love and light. That is a great service. And if you don't feel any love, you know, ask for forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Whatever you did to block your heart, or ask for mercy that bells and curses or vows mm -hmm. be cleared you know, around blocking your heart. Now, of course, we ask for the presence of expert healing team. To ask for the highest good in divine harmony with the most benevolent. Yeah, to please transmute any physical, astral, emotional, mental, spiritual, and any other trauma you know, that we're still having to healing energy and upgrade us you know, to our divine, best divine blueprint that we can embody now as much as possible. Ah. Uh, And now we asked our high self and our spirit guides um, to um, reunite um, with us any soul fragments that can return to us due to the purification. So for a better and more potent ascension. Amen. And smile so you get the higher vibrational stuff. And we asked that this be flawlessly and easily integrated into our systems and assimilated and then updated to the latest divine blueprint and then brought to the best energy levels and then surrounded with protective energy so uh, no dark side beings um, cannot access our energies to manipulate or steal them amen 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 make sure you agree mm -hmm. And I will count to three now, and then you will be fully grounded back in vacant day consciousness. One, 
two, three. Well, well, well. <laughs> yeah, you should be uh, buzzing now and having a very strong oops field. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Crown chakra open, heart open, root chakra open. Yeah, that is the life. So uh, like that, um, you know, you have the best chances you know, because you are fully connected with your earth. You know, your body is perfect. It reacts very instinctual when you're perfectly grounded. Mm -hmm. And um, through the opening, through the heavens, um, you have openness to your intuition, to the voice of your high self. And through the opening of the heart, you are in balance and of love and light and therefore deserving the protection of the divine beings. That is very important. <laughs> you know, and as long as you keep on smiling, all you tune into your higher mind. And as soon as you're frowning, yeah, then you're vulnerable and <laughs> um, you don't want to go there. Okay. So um, for some time now, you know, don't do any driving, you know, because you're probably pretty spaced out. And drink a lot of water, and you are, have been very sensitized, most likely. So don't go to a heavy model concert or watch a hall or an MMA fight. Mm -hmm. And you would absorb too much of the negative energy at that time. You know? Of course, this is just a shotgun style meditation. And it's like a whale shooter game, you know. Um, I asked a question, you know, and hopefully, you know, you know it happens. <laughs> and then we move on to the next intent, whatever it is. So, but this is a free meditation. And even, you know, if you have uh, some results and insight, you know, that is a good thing. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, Yet, I give also a personal face-to-face -face session um, with me on Skype or Zoom, which are much more targeted. You know, we start with your most damaging programs and then follow the trail. You know, um, till we know enough so that spirit, you know, our high self, our teams, you know, can clear the issue. You know, go to past lifetime or happen what happened in this lifetime and so on. Mm -hmm. And then we go uh, to the next worst thing on the list. You know? So karma clearing is mostly around learning a lesson and about forgiveness you know? and love and understanding. It's not tooth for tooth. It's not. You know? um, understanding this principle of forgiveness can cut karma super fast, super fast. Mm -hmm. But if you don't forgive, you may karmically overpay. It's like having the same miserable rapist coming into each lifetime, you know, as your brother, as your daddy, as your uncle, as your lover, till you forgive. And this is not book learning. I know this from a lot of past life regressions. So think about it. Well, enough of my mental dribble in the disguise of wisdom. You know, get out of your head, get into your heart, smile and breathe. You know, as if you could hold your breath. You know, smile, let's do this here. You know, so imagine you have to hold your breath for two minutes. Survival, right? <laughs> and you prepare, you know, um, your breathing. You're basically hyperventilate. Now again, don't do this while driving. So as if life depends on it. Right? So um, let's pull, you know, this love from, let's do it from heaven on earth, you know, into your heart. You know, just follow along with me. Smile, and let the credits roll, you know, see what other videos I have. You know, but uh, you know, just smile and pull the love from heaven and earth into your heart. Go ahead.
i love you a long time.